This is Lesson 59 on Arithmetic Logic Unit, or ALU. Here's the diagram for what's called an Arithmetic Logic Unit, or ALU. This is a very useful device which appears in all uh, computers and microprocessors. It's sort of the heart of how you do calculation and logic operations. Here is the functions of this ALU. In general, we'll have any number of functions. We've chosen uh, eight here. So we'll have ALU select, sort of like a multiplexer select, two down to zero. And depending upon what this ALU select is, we'll have a different function. There are two inputs, A and B, each four bits in this example, and output Y. Now, if the ALU select is zero, we'll just pass A through. So Y just gets whatever A is. If we make ALU select 1, then we'll add A plus B. We'll get an addition, so it acts as an adder then. If we make the ALU select line 2, then we'll do a subtraction, in this case A minus B. If you make it 3, we'll do the other subtraction, B minus A. So you can pick any kinds of functions you want here. Um, the ALU select will select different operations. So it changes this ALU from an adder to a subtractor. We could do some logic functions. If we make ALU select 1, 0, 0, then it just inverts A. That is, it does a, a bitwise not operation, or one's complement of A. If you make ALU select 5, then it does a bitwise AND. That is, each bit of A gets anded with each bit of B, and the result is what's in Y. If the ALU select is 6, it does an OR operation. That is, a bitwise OR. Each bit of A is ORed with each bit of B. And finally, if we make ALU select 7, it does an exclusive OR, bitwise exclusive OR. Each bit of A is exclusive OR with each bit of B, and the results in Y. So these are the eight operations for this ALU. In addition, we bring out four uh, lines called a negative flag, the zero flag, the overflow flag, and the carry flag. The overflow flag and the carry flag you're familiar with. We talked about that when we talked about addition and subtraction. The negative flag will get set if the most significant bit is 1, that is, if the output y is a 2's complement negative number. So if y sub n minus 1 is equal to 1, we set the negative flag. That, that tells that the result was negative. The 0 flag gets set to 1 if the result is 0. So if y turns out to be 0, then the 0 flag will get set. These negative flags and zero flags, as well as the carry and overflow flags, are useful for doing branching instructions in uh, microprocessors. So the ALU, then, is a general operation for doing arithmetic and logic operations. And in the next lesson, we'll see how to implement this ALU uh, on your FPGA.